2025 is coming quickly, and with it will come the launch of the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. But while we're expecting great things from Samsung's next flagship, it will still have to contend with Apple's biggest and best phone. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is still pretty new, but it has already wowed us with an incredible range of hardware and software upgrades. The battery life is particularly impressive, and we're already starting to get our first taste of what to expect from the Apple Intelligence AI suite. The S25 Ultra will probably be the closest Android has to a true Pro Max rival, and some of the rumors are actually rather exciting. But which phone is likely to come out on top? While there are still things we don't know about the S25 Ultra, we can speculate based on the many rumors we've heard up to this point. So let's dig through it all and compare that to what we've learned thanks to our hands-on time with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. We haven't heard rumors about what the Galaxy S25 Ultra will launch, but it seems unlikely Samsung will deviate from its usual schedule. Recently, Galaxy S flagships have arrived in late January. With CS 2024 happening at the start of January, we don't expect that timetable to change that much. We haven't heard anything about pricing, but considering the Galaxy S24 Ultra saw a $100 price hike, we're hoping that Samsung at least keeps the same $1,299 starting price. Hopefully, despite some early claims, let's hope the pricey Snapdragon 8 Elite doesn't force Samsung's hand. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is available right now, with prices starting at $1,199 for a 256GB model. This $100 price difference would give Apple the edge on Samsung. We're not expecting any major changes with the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra's design, or its display. The look has been pretty static for a long time, with Samsung only making relatively minor changes such as tweaked camera lenses or the titanium frame we saw debut on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, one rumor claims that there may be some marginal size increases across the whole Galaxy S25 range. The Ultra is supposedly growing to 6.9 inches, and while only slightly bigger than the 6.8-inch Galaxy S25 Ultra, it does mean the phone may match the size of the recently supersized iPhone 16 Pro Max. Sadly, despite recent rises in display brightness, word is that Samsung will not be improving the screen illumination this year retaining the same M13 OLED panels as the S24 Ultra rather than the M14 panels utilized by iPhone 16 Pro Max. Our S24 Ultra testing found a peak brightness of 1,363 nits, which is far behind the 1,553 nits of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. The good news is that the S25 Ultra will likely keep the flat-screen display of the S24 Ultra but it's claimed that we could see a slightly wider frame with much skinnier bezels. We should also see an even thinner design at 8.4 millimeters. That's not quite as thin as the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which measures just 8.1 millimeters thick, but it will be interesting to see how those skinnier bezels might compare. We're expecting big things from the Galaxy S25 Ultra's cameras, considering Samsung regularly reaches the top three spots on our best camera phones list. We're expecting to see the 200MP main lens make a return, absolutely dwarfing the iPhone 16 Pro Max's 48MP shooter. One leaker has teased an unspecified upgrade, but details on this are non-existent. That same leaker also claims that the ultra-wide lens will get an overdue upgrade from 12MP to 50MP. The Galaxy S25 Ultra Telephoto lens is also claimed to be getting variable capabilities. This is a rumor we heard about for S24 Ultra as well, and would allow two different levels of optical magnification in a single telephoto lens, negating the need for the second telephoto lens. Apparently, the phone may have fixed focal lengths between 4 and 5x zoom, with the option to rise to 6x and 7x zoom. But whether this upgrade actually comes to fruition is another matter. In contrast, the iPhone 16 Pro Max has a triple lens camera, offering 48MP main and ultra-wide lenses, plus a 12MP telephoto lens with 5x optical magnification. But despite that seeming hardware disadvantage in the main lens, the combination of hardware and software still means Apple trumps Samsung in photo shootouts. It's not by that much, though, 
so it'll be interesting to see how things shape up if the S25 Ultra does get these upgrades.